The day you came into my life was the day I crowned you queen, king of my heart. Okay, so there is that crown energy. Um, and really a lot like getting the, you know, the, the prince, prince charming, the knight of cups, which you did get. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading and your love messages. Look, <laughs> I don't usually start a reading out with a cut deck cards like this. Um, but here's the thing. I was doing a lot of shuffling for you and this card came out three times. Okay. And I thought, all right, there's something, there's a message here that's already coming for you. So we're going to look at this. These also came out for you. Generally, these are soul's journey cards. And I normally, well, I was planning to read them for you at the end. So we might still pull from there. Let's see how things go. But these were meant to come for you now. And also, when I was cutting your deck here numerous times, um, I wasn't looking. And then I felt really pulled to look. And there are two cards here that I want to show you. And then we will move on with all the rest. Okay, so let me sh uh, show you what this card is. This is a message to you direct from your person. I had been dreaming about you even before I met you. Okay, guys, this is a Twin Flame Soulmate card. This is really about the energy of, of being together on, you know, what you believe. So don't worry if you don't believe in that. But this can be about the energy of each other already around before you've actually met. Dreaming about each other. Dreaming about... Um, not even realizing for some of you. Now, this isn't going to be for everyone, but past lives, okay? The point is, is that the energy between you is really strong. And this is a person that is a twin flame soulmate person to you and you to them. And this card is a confirmation of that. It came out three times, you guys, when I was shuffling. Three times, Sagittarius. <laughs> So that's the first thing. I'm going to put it here. We will look at love messages later, but that needed to be read to you. Now, these also came. Okay, look. <laughs> first of all, there's a seven here. And a seven can be about looking back at what you've gone through. But it can also be kind of taking assessment about where you are and control that can sometimes be associated with the number seven in numerology so I feel like there's a few messages going on here one of them is yeah to rest and um but here's the thing I feel like for a lot of you this is about sleeping on it if you know what I mean kind of about a decision maybe or simply it's almost like putting a sword down in a sword suit in tarot uh, if you know what I mean, I feel and I feel like this is also a, a confirmation for you from spirit that um, spirit knows what you've been going through. And I feel like for Sagittarius that there's been some stuff going on with you and your person. Maybe you're you're uh, coming out of it, but I feel like some of you are still in it or it's just really like the past, but it's not that far back. It might be sort of far back, but it's kind of more recent. So there is that. And here's the other thing. There is a bat. Look, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a bat on this person's arm. Let me see if I get a better. Yeah, I think I was like thinking that this was dirt, but actually I think this is a feather here. Look, do you see that? I thought that was dirt. Um, <laughs> sometimes I, I, yeah, I find things on my cards. That's a feather, you guys. So make a wish. And here's the other thing. There's a bat here on your arm. And a bat is really, a, it, it's a symbol about rebirth, you know, starting over. And it's really deep because it lives, um, they say it lives in the, the belly of Mother Earth. So I think that's very interesting that it's here on you as you, and, that's, and that it really is a symbol about you needing to physically get some rest, Sagittarius. But also you do have this arrow here, this sort of love arrow. So I feel like it's also about your person and you needing to really just uh, put your swords down. Think about what it is that you want. This is a confirmation from spirit, what you're going through. But this is also a message for you to take care of yourself. You know, you have this rainbow energy here. Look, you have it up here in the arm and you also have it down here, which is about hope. That is symbolic of hope. So I feel like... 
Um, you are wanting this to work with your person. And let's see what's going to happen in your reading here. But this is a message that needed to come through to you, obviously. Now, you also have a star here. So there are some, you know, about getting some clarity. So I feel like quite literally rest, okay, but also just kind of putting your swords down, so to speak, <laughs> if this were a sword suit um, card, and um, just getting some clarity on what it is you want, what it is you need to do for the better, for yourself, to take care of yourself, and also for the higher good of all. So there is that card for you. And then this one also came down. Sound healing. Okay, so this is uh, 47, as you can see, and this would come to an 11 and then a 2 in numerology. That is about partnerships, you guys. Balance. Really, this is a, a message for you directly um, for healing. Okay, if this were, an, when any instrument comes up, like a guitar, a trumpet, a music note, it can be that you're a musician or your person is a musician, so take that as it resonates. It definitely can be. But it can also be about peace and healing. That is one of the meanings, one of many, but that, that is the one of the main re meanings. And this is sound healing. So there's some healing that needs to go on, first of all. Um, but also it could be that some of you just really also need to step back. We see you got the rest card and the sound healing card. And um, do it, what it is you love and listening to some music. So that's an actual direct, obvious message. But the deeper meaning is about some healing here. And these were both really coming down for you during shuffling. So this is very important because you also have a lot of rainbow energy here. So I do really feel like Sagittarius that you you have a lot of hope, if not for coming back with your person, because that will not be for everyone. It's for a new beginning for yourself because we have the bat here and that is about rebirth, Sag. So these are yours. There is no gender here. And I'm going to put these. Where am I going to put these? Because, you know, let's put them right here for you. And we can talk about them more. Um, or I guess I'd just do that. How, how about that? Is that weird? Yeah, that's weird. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn it over for you. How about that? <laughs> there we go. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to show you were your cards while I was... Um, shuffling and cutting the deck and then I looked down and look okay first of all you have temperance here guess what that is that's your energy Sag so I feel like you've been holding back from maybe holding back from um, contacting your person here I do feel like already and, and there's a strong feeling of maybe some ghosting going on and you have been holding back. But I also feel like with the temperance card and this is your card, this is some more um, getting some balance for yourself. If, if this were the wisdom of the Oracle, I would feel like it's a little bit like getting a leg up card which really is about kind of getting your footing. And it's also a bit like the yin and yang card in Energy Oracle where you just need to get some balance. So I feel like this is also um, about you and your person that you were maybe giving more than they were. Okay, so that's coming through. And look, here we have, we had the bat for rebirth on your arm here and needing to kind of like reflect and think about what it is. Well, look, that you want, you got the magician card here. Um, now this isn't coming down in the actual reading. They might, that happens, but I was really drawn to look at them and I don't always do that lately. I have been really getting pulled down. Um, and it's really amazing what the cards are, but the magician card, you guys, new beginning, some opportunities some potential. So look, this is everything. Okay. Love career money. I will tell you that, but this is your love reading. And the first thing that I'm feeling like is a lot of you are really wanting a new start with your person. And some of you just might be getting a new start in general in love. Okay. We're going to see how it goes here. There's a lot to talk about. Um, you know, I think that's really close <laughs> with your card already here, Sagittarius, and also with the magician card. Okay. But I do feel like you're you're kind of on a new path, Sagittarius. You're you're getting things done, and it might be also this some of this twin flame soulmate energy here that you're kind of in this separation. You're doing other things, okay? And very interesting. This is very similar, and the reading hasn't even started to Leo. So if you have Leo in your chart, your person's a Leo. Make sure you go and watch that. 
or not, <laughs> whatever you want. This is a general reading, you guys, so remember not everything is going to resonate. Take what resonates and throw away the rest, truly, okay? And this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And like I said, it could be that you have, you could have, have some Sagittarius in your chart, and that's why you're here cross-watching. Um, so you might not have uh, Sagittarius as your sun sign. It could also be that you are cross-watching for, oh my gosh, you guys, look. Okay, see this when this happens, it's just incredible to me. So there's the lover's card, okay, Gemini energy there. Look at you guys' button heads. There's a snake in there. Who's that snake? Look, some of you are going to have children with this person. That won't be for everyone. There's a heart in between you. You love each other, but I told you, there's a battle of, of, of wills going on, maybe almost who can last longer, and look. You have the two of swords. Swords is conflicting energy. That means there's something conflicting either going on now or has. But, you know, this is, this is two. This is a partnership. This is about you and your person here, <laughs> okay? And then there's the lover's card which is a six, which is about more harmony and healing, you guys, with another person. And here's the other thing. A two can be about making decisions, okay? So I don't think that's any accident that these are showing up as I shuffle. I'm in a, if I look again, I look, I'm, I'm not doing it on purpose. So let's see um, what happens in your reading today. I'm gonna do one last cut just to make sure we have a very good Good mix here, but I don't think it's any accident that this came down for you. I really don't. I do think that there's a decision on the plate for some of you on the table, on the plate, however you want to look at that. All right, so there's the devil card. That's the first card we have here. So this is obviously some Capricorn energy, you guys. <coughs> Whoa, intuitive And here's the other thing about this. It could be for some of you that you or your person, um, well, first of all, your person really, you guys have a lot of passion. That's very, very clear, okay? Secondly, it could be that you or your, I mean, look at how, look at this burning red, okay? I'm gonna just show you that again. But there's, look here, there's like, it's like chained down and it's almost like this, you know, it's masked, first of all, this raven and the raven is not chained down but has a chain and has this, little bird here so I feel like now this can represent a person it could be that you know you're you're feeling like you can't let them go or they don't want to let you go it's almost like getting the four of pentacles in a love reading which is really like I'm not letting you go I don't want to let you go it's like kind of being greedy with money but also love but on the other hand I feel like um if you're looking here with this card, um, this can also represent um, kind of unhealthy habits or addictions. So it could be that you or your person or somebody, wow, look, you guys, whoa, or somebody in this connection um, was maybe partaking a little too much in something <laughs> or there's, there's something that was getting in the way here of you guys. It could have been part of what separated you. That won't be for everybody, but it's really coming through strong here. And look, you guys, that's a really interesting card to have come down right after it is the judgment card. So I feel like now this can be about um, like making a final decision. OK, what were we seeing here? This really uh, was was calling to you, first of all. OK, and I was really feeling like the energy coming through the message that was coming through with you for you was to kind of put your swords down and think about what it is you want. And one of the cards we saw in the cut deck was the two of swords, you guys, and that is about making a decision. And that is a little bit of conflicting energy here. And I feel like you're conflicted about what to do, Sag. That's what I feel like is happening here. Now, here's the thing with the, the judgment card. It could literally be that there are some, because um, I did see for some of you, there might be some children involved. So it could be that there is some money involved or paperwork or money coming based because of the connection. That won't be for everybody, okay? So don't worry about it. But the judgment card is card is number 20. And that is basically a two in numerology. And that is about your partnership here. So this is about your person. 
This is definitely about your person and you, you or your person, both of you. And it can be about a decision. Now, it could be a, actually a passed down judgment, you know, in, in court or something of that effect. So take that as it resonates. It, it really, it just can. Um, but it could also just be about this decision that here is kind of on the table for you guys. And look, now... There are three ravens down here, and so that can be, a three can represent whether it's the number or objects, like especially in this form, that there uh, is a third party involved, or there was. Now that won't be for everyone, and that's not always the case, of course, in readings, but uh, that's feeling strong here for some of you. Okay, let's see what else here. These are yours. Look. <laughs> okay, so here's the other thing. You have the Emperor card, so there's some Aries energy for you. And this is some really strong um, masculine energy. And the Emperor card can quite literally be an older man in your life or an older person that's somehow playing into this connection. That could be you. That could be your person. It could be something to do with this judgment. Um, it could be a family member on their side or your side. So take that as it resonates. And it could be, yeah, your person's channeling the energy and it's not about an older man at all. Okay. Um, and I say this a lot, and <laughs> I think it bothers some people, and I apologize, but really, there is no gender in tarot. There is, fe mem excuse me, masculine and feminine energy, for sure, but sometimes there are just some cards that are particular cards, like um, the, uh, in, gosh, Energy Oracle, the Thinking Man, or uh, the Thinking Woman, those are very particular cards, okay? Um, and the thing about the Emperor is, it can be the energy as well, though. So this will could possibly be representing somebody older in your life or their life. You, your person, an older man, uh, somehow in this connection. But it can also just be channeling this energy. And with the emperor energy, that is Aries, okay? And it could be you or your person, but they are in a position of kind of authority. Like they're the sort of person... Um, which is really not surprising, of course, that this is Aries energy because they it's like kind of like a Capricorn. They can be very, which is interesting because we have the energy here, a very um, business-oriented person or a person who's kind of a leader or maybe even a quiet leader, if you know what I mean, like kind of um, in, a, in a way that's not so obvious is what I want to say. So yeah, so take that as it resonates, but... I also feel like for some of you that your um, <laughs> your your person could be uh, this isn't really here yet, but it could possibly be that your person is trying to kind of find a way back in to you. Very interesting. And for some of you, look, um, this isn't going to be for everyone, but here is the message coming through. Some of you, I think your person was um, kind of what's the word I want to say. Maybe not trusting or trying to get away with something, sort of. It's almost like the Seven um, of Swords in some ways, um, but it, you know, which is some Aquarius energy. So take that as it resonates. But I feel like that there's the, uh, for some of you, their person maybe doesn't want to give you some money they should or something back or. I'm not really sure yet. We need to get a, a more, let's get a clearer picture here. But the other thing too is. I do feel this headbutt. We saw that in the, the decks when they were split before we read. So I feel like you're both, you are both kind of um, uh, proud here. I would not be surprised at all if we get, um, yeah, a card here coming down that's <laughs> basically telling us even more. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. Now, sword energy, you guys, you know, we've talked about it. Six, first of all more harmony and healing. You could already be doing it, but I feel more it's about you needing to heal from what you guys have gone through. Now, if we don't know yet what's going on, I don't I don't hear see it here yet or feel it yet whether or not your person is for sure coming and um but I do see that, that look, there is somebody here with the 6 of swords kind of going across this tumultuous water here. So it could be for some of you um, there's a lot of things here. It could be for some of you that there, there was something going on with a judgment, a divorce, a breakup. That will not be for everyone, but definitely, obviously, a breakup here, a separation. This is a separation, no contact reading. Um, that could have caused 
somebody needing to move. So somebody had to move here, maybe. Could also be about just literally physically transitioning, okay, away from somebody because look, it's super tumultuous water here. It, it's like this rain coming down during the storm. Um, there is a, a uh, you know, this is a sword suit here. So this is really about relationships, but it can be sometimes about um, kind of, like getting things done, like sort of transactional, if that makes sense. So I do feel like here with the Six of Swords that somebody is either had to move or needs to move because of this, or that's going to be coming up. But, you know, remember, guys, this is not a prediction that you have free will. Your outcome is yours. I'm delivering your messages for you and reading your energies. And there's a lot of energy to read. It's sometimes very um, overwhelming. But in a, yeah, it's overwhelming. What can I say? I'm usually in a beautiful way, but sometimes it's heavy. And um, But I do feel like somebody is somebody had to or uh, might be relocating, okay? Or I'm um, kind of, yeah, having to move house or that sort of thing. But like I said, that can also be about, a wow, look, your magician card did come down. Okay, you guys, I wondered if that was going to happen. There it is. And you watched me shuffle away. That's what happens. It's very interesting here. Um, but this also can be about transitioning away from someone, uh, towards someone. But I feel like this is more about kind of transitioning away. And to be honest with you, I'm... I'm I'm almost half expecting to see the three of swords here, which is some Libra energy, because I do feel like there is there was a loss. And I do feel like for some of you, there was a well, there's heartbreak for sure. But I feel like for some of you, there might have been a divorce. But look, either way, there there is a separation. So let's see if we get the three of swords coming down for you. But I feel like you're you're just not sure is what I feel like that you're kind of like transitioning away but you're like you're confused a little bit here. But I do feel like there was somebody that, uh, for some of you, that's somebody that had to move. Okay. And here we are with the Magician card again. I knew it was going to come down. And uh, I didn't know, actually, but I had a very strong feeling. I, I do feel like you're in a new beginning or it's, it's starting for you. But look, don't be worried because I know I see the Devil card here. We see the Judgment here. We see the Six of Swords. You know, even the emperor in some ways, it's like, what is going on? But this is new beginnings and we saw it already. So this is a double confirmation for you, Sagittarius. And some opportunity, potential, you know, that is for numerology in one here. You know, and you, you have your wings stretched out. And look, Leo got this card as well. So that might be something um, that you have in your chart. And I think this is the second time I've mentioned Leo for some of you. That's going to resonate. But um, one of the things I talked about in um, Leo's reading, which is very interesting here, is look, you're standing on this sword, okay, um, which is conflicting energy. And I feel like this is uh, kind of the past a little bit for you, but you're above it. It's below you, but you're balancing it out here with, with love and money. And so this really is about everything. But this is your love reading and you're holding a wand here, which is about relationships and passion. And we talked about it. Look, and it's right below the devil card. So I do feel like you guys um, were very physical <laughs> and very connected in that way. Now, look, it's also very emotional. Um, and I feel like, too, that it could be you here or your person channeling also this needing to uh, speak out. And I think I even talked about here. Um, about maybe seeing if a microphone totem comes. I really do feel like um, your person wants to talk, but it's sort of the stuck energy right now. I'm not seeing a lot of movement at the moment. I mean, I do see here the Six of Swords, but I feel like that's more about uh, the past or possibly maybe upcoming, but more about a transition or, um, and like I said, for some of you, a move. Now, and here's the other thing about that. It could be for some of you, because you do have the Magician card really twice is a confirmation here that you are or your person has uh, relocated somewhere. It could have to do with work. It could be that some of you relocated for your person or something you're thinking about. But generally, this is like a, um, a move or a transition that was kind of um, needing to happen. 
So I do feel like for a lot of you that was about moving house, but it could also be locations, you guys. All right, there we go. This could be you guys. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. This is the Page of Cups. My first um, feeling for a lot of you that this is your person and this is some um, kind of being immature. <laughs> it's no other way to put it. And the Page of Cups here is um, really also the thing about it that is kind of great it is a new love and look it's coming right after the magician so i do feel like for some of you um there is new love here now this is not a singles tarot reading i do singles tarot readings in fact i'm a little bit behind because of some technical issues they will be coming um in about a day or so um after you see this um or you know maybe you're here months later so in that case <laughs> don't worry about it but um I do feel like uh, for some of you, there's a new person, okay? Um, and look, you have this crab energy here, so it could be a cancer. They could already be there, but that could also be your person coming in a new way. But I'm not really sure about that. Um, and here's the thing. There's a starfish here, which can be symbolically about kind of taking something that wasn't working, um, and kind of make and making it work so that could also be for some of you your person wanting to come back with sort of a new energy but I'm not feeling that very strong yet I, I feel like we're going to need to get a little better feeling here but that's going to be the case for some of you and look the, you know you have the magician card here and right after you have the page of cups so I feel like this really is about you wanting your person to come back as you know and have something new like a new start and you have the bat here this rebirth you have new beginnings here on the table and you do have potential and in, in this reading so i feel like some of you are just really well you know you're like come on you really want this new start and um others there's just you know <laughs> like it or not ready or not here they come that there's somebody coming and it could be also here that it's channeling this emperor energy that it's an older uh, man some really masculine energy here but quite literally an older man or you are the older man so take that as it resonates that won't be for everyone but i really do i really feel an um even more so the energy is strong that this is your person here just being a little immature this could be for everyone look you guys the hermit card so there's some virgo energy and this really i feel like is about you here this is a, like a confirmation um rest we talked about the rebirth here with the bat we talked about you needing to get some clarity and having some hope and just in your life in general you know you're dreaming stuff up here Sagittarius and you have the magician card here you're dreaming it up it's there for you this is your reading this is what you what you do with your outcome is up to you not me here okay this is you and here you are again with the hermit card it's a confirmation really of if you haven't already really just started to think about what it is you want um, for yourself also in the long term that it's something for you to do now and that's a confirmation from spirit because look here you have all this um the sword energy and some type of um, transition also like quite literally physically relocating as we talked about but also transition so a lot of you are in that the bat the rebirth you know and then we have and it's like this tum this tumultuous water and rain and sword energy and then you have the snow but you know the raven's holding a light so the lantern and there's a star hanging so some of you are are uh figuring it out i think okay but this is a message for those of you that also need to hear it to trust yourself to do what you need to do here with your getting some clarity and it could literally be sleeping and slowing down but this can also just be about trusting yourself putting your swords down you know and and just not being in fight mode so that you can get a clearer idea of what it is you want and going within also for yourself just um taking a step back really you know and just getting some um, illumination because quite literally what do you do when you sleep you dream you know it's like the stars and the moon and that that energy and you have the star here so that is a confirmation for you 
look. You have the Sun card. That's beautiful, Sagittarius. You know, it's the Sun card. That's a 10. There is another 10. So yeah, this, this end of the cycle is really here if you aren't, or aren't already in it. And if you're feeling like you're not channeling that, this is a, oh my, hi, sorry about that. I looked up and it, there were, was literally like two seconds left on the camera. I don't always catch it, but spirit uh, was with me. Uh, but yeah, so this is a 10, you guys. There we go again with the end of the cycle, kind of finishing something and starting over. Rebirth, end of cycle, magician, new beginning, opportunity. So you guys, for a lot of you, you know, I'm not really seeing so clearly here yet. We're going to look at these cards for your person. Whether it's your person coming back with something new, kind of a new way to come, or a new person here, but there's definitely a new beginning here for you, Sagittarius, on the table. So if that's something you're wanting, make sure you're putting yourself in the situations um, to be open to the possibilities of love with somebody else. But if you are um, thinking about going back with your person, which some of you are, um, in either way, there is some clarity that needs to be had here because you have this rest card, which is really about that. And also not just physical, physical too, but also just um, being able to figure out what it is you want, you know, and that's here with the, with the hermit card for you. Now that could be your person too. This is Virgo energy. But I really, you know, and that could be them coming into this knowing because it is right below the Emperor card. Um, but, you know, that's, I feel really like it's an energy that you're channeling now. But yeah, take that as it resonates. And look here with the Sun card. Look at the White Horse. That really is about um, internal stuff, okay? So that's the thing about the Sun card and just being happy. Now, this is just about really the end result for you is this is what everybody wants right to be happy but for you for in order for you to channel this energy or to stay in this energy if you're in it it's going to be what choices you make and the decisions you make for yourself okay i'm not going to um be fluffy <laughs> you know and say look it's the ha it's the sun card that's it you're going to be happy that's not reality I'm, I'm reading your energy for you and sending you your messages. So make sure you're paying attention to that. A white horse is um, usually symbolic of internal, which is interesting with this card because a darker horse would be more symbolic of the external. And this can also be about, um, you know, kind of getting things, like if you're trying to get a new house or a car or money or whatever. And you do have the magician card. So... This is a love reading, but sometimes things pop through, and I do feel like that is on the table for you, Sag. That is something I'm seeing here for some of you now, or depending on what choices you're making, then that, that is also attainable for you. But yeah, this is the white horse, so this is also about internal happiness, okay, in your heart and, and your mind and a clearer mind and just following your path, your, your spiritual path, your heart path, your life path. Okay, so these are the last three cards. Very interesting. You have the Queen of Pentacles coming down. So there you are. There's the Sagittarius energy and also Capricorn energy. So now I feel like you are, like I said, I feel like you're really putting your, your effort right now. Somehow, for some of you, you're, you're doing other things. You're obviously thinking about your person. It's here. Your person's thinking about you. Um, we did see the lover's card, you guys. I didn't forget that, okay? <laughs> Some Gemini energy. You guys do love each other, okay? And the lover's card can also be about, you know, two people coming together and um, well, being together. It's a partnership, okay? And this is a love reading, and it did come up for you. So your person is loving you. Your person loves you, but... The thing about the lover's card, as you saw when we talked about, is they butt heads. They're like, you guys are, you love each other. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of passion here. And yeah, there might even be some obsession with each other. Take that as it resonates or one or the other, or there was. But um, you're not looking at each other. You're butting heads still, okay? And it's for some of you, it's like quite literally some legal stuff. That's not going to be for everyone. But yeah, and you know, with the queen of pentacles here, I do feel like for some of you that there was some money involved in it, okay? And, and you might have a 
be taking on more than usual. And for those of you with children, especially because I do feel that that there's I see I feel the energy here. That's not everybody. You know, this is a general reading, guys. So not every single thing will always resonate. Um, but I do feel like that is a message that needs to come through. A spirit is acknowledging that and seeing that and um, and supporting that, okay? Because look here, you have the butterfly. And we saw here with the bat, there is a rebirth. We saw, we see transformation here. We see new beginnings. There's so much here. And there's the butterfly. And there's the world as well. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get these cards off the table. But do you see that? So, and look at that abundant tree there in the, in the back and the beautiful flowers in the front. So, yeah, and look at the crown. <laughs> I am loving that for you, king or queen here. And, you know, this, of course, in particular is the queen of pentacles. But, yeah, so this is the Sagittarius Capricorn energy here. And, you know, with the Capricorn energy, that really is um, this energy of... Uh, kind of checks and balances sort of you know like really a very a high achieving sign and business oriented type of sign um, likes routines that sort of thing so I do feel like and this is really about domesticity too so some of you guys are um, maybe you're needing to pull some of your focus back into your um, family life if you have children um, or just maybe spending a little, um, you know, I feel like with COVID, a lot of people were at home. But interestingly enough, I almost feel like Sagittarius because you guys really love to travel and you've probably been going crazy <laughs> with this lockdown that you've almost been overdoing it. So that is also a message for you. But interesting because there you are. Wow. Okay. So there's the nine of pentacles now. Let's look at this last one here. And this is some Virgo energy, by the way. Yeah, really interesting. What I love about this is we just talked about how you love to travel. And this can really be about traveling alone, too. So that's really interesting for you. There's that sun energy again. And I feel like for some of you, there. well, I don't feel like it. I, I, <laughs> that sounds so silly, but... There's a very strong energy is what I want to say about this change, okay? Um, and I feel like some of you have already gone in here with the Hermit card. But look, you have the butterfly again. There we are again with the butterfly and the pentacles, okay? There's the, the one raven too sort of looking off in this direction, almost out, you know, kind of away from the, the, uh, the addiction energy or the kind of devilish energy, which I feel for some of you will be your person, Um this is some Capricorn energy, but yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles here, this is Virgo energy, and I feel like a lot of you um, may have gotten some money somehow through this connection. That's not going to be for everybody here, but others are just um, kind of on a different path that maybe you haven't been on before. Maybe for some of you, you've been with your partner a while, um, and I do feel like it really changed uh, for a lot of you, your finances and possibly your your situation, um, where you were living or where your person was living. Maybe they you they moved away or you are moved out of the house apartment or you kicked them out. Maybe you did, but that's here for some of you. There's a lot of money involved here, and we do still have the judgment card. It didn't go anywhere, <laughs> so that could simply be. Um, about the connection too and you know and I do see that for some of you there's this possibility of a third party not for everybody interesting you guys okay so this is your card here and then we will get another um, lover's oracle for you this was pulled before and let's see what's going on when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love well, that's just a beautiful message, okay, in general. But here's the thing about this message that I find really interesting. It's sort of like um, almost the, op the opposite of the Sun card because the Sun card is also like, hey, you've got stuff coming, a house, a car maybe. You know, it can be. That's not um, all it is. Um, and I feel like, Sag, that um, this is also a message for you to focus here on the internal, whoa, it's falling down here, but look, it fell right on the hermit here. Um, yeah, your internal stuff, even more so than the external. Obviously, we all need to pay bills. 
you know, and I do think that for some of you, there's money involved here with the connection, but this is really, um, a beautiful message, but it's also a message about putting your time and your love and your energies with people and because you can't take all that other stuff with you, you know, and really life is about that. It's about love, you guys. Love, you know, and you want to make memories with the people you love and have experiences, but at the end, but it's love. But I do feel like, Sag, you're kind of getting, if you haven't already, you're getting like the itch to travel. <laughs> it's just very interesting that's not for everyone um yeah but there's something about needing to be reeled in a little bit here i don't know it's very interesting because this it's like the opposite of materialism you know or the opposite of getting stuff it's more about the internal the love with other people not just your person okay and i think that's a message for some of you maybe with connecting with family again or some friends Let's get uh, another lovers. Okay, this was sticking, these two actually. So these are yours. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, interesting. Yeah, well, I guess that for some of you that is going to be about travel. Um, so, you know, it's almost like the opposite of what I just said. But I do feel like there is sort of a, a, a heavy focus for some of you in a materialistic way. Now, this is falling, so well, that was strange. I'm going to keep that here. Um, but that won't be for everyone. But look, new beginning here. We have the Sun card. We have the Magician card. There's definitely, if you're not in it now, it's it's your energy um, based on what choices you make, Sag. This is your last Lover's Oracle. Okay, I love this. This is so perfect for, for you. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Okay, we literally just talked about that, first of all. And you do have a lot of pentacles on the table. You also have the magician card. I mean, come on. And the sun card. So for some of you, um, I really, look, there's just like, you're kind of, if you haven't already gone in, you need to, or you will be. That's what I want to say to you, like inward, in your, in, you know, thinking mode and um, planning things up mode. Because you also have rest here, which can be about dreams as well. And I feel like a lot of you, like we talked about in the very beginning, that this disconnect with your person also drove you in other directions for other things that you were getting done. But I do think that there's a little bit of focus, heavy focus on that for some um, finances or material stuff. And that there is a message uh, for those of you that need to hear it about directing some of your energies to toward yourself, loving yourself, but also um, the people that you love, whether that's children or um, aging parents, that sort of thing, family, friends you haven't seen. Okay, um, let's look at this message card and then we're going to read some more love messages here for you. But this card was coming down, so I really want to know what they're saying. <laughs> I have so many regrets. Okay, very interesting. Sagittarius, what's really strange is I feel like um, there's not a lot of clarity here. I just, I need to do this. I need to get, I wasn't planning this, but I feel like I need to just get a little bit of clarity here. This is the, obviously the Rider Waite Tarot deck and it's in German. Okay, here we go. This is the bottom of the deck for you. So Ace of Pentacles. Didn't we have the Ace of Pentacles here? Or maybe we didn't. Well, there's, I feel like we, we pulled that, but maybe not earlier. Yeah, so for some of you, this is going to be about, you know, some something new coming in in terms of a job or money. But this could also be an offering here with love, all right? And this is the Ace of Pentacles here. So we have some Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn energy. So there's that Capricorn energy again and the Virgo energy again. Um, not a lot. I don't really think I've even seen any Taurus energy here. Really thought the Hierophant would come down. Anyway, the Ace of Pentacles, guys. So this was just trying to get a little bit of clarity on. I'm going to take it, actually, and do a little bit of shuffling on your person. So this is more about money, but it can also be in a love reading about a person coming. And look at the hand is vibrating here. There's just, like, all this light and energy. Look at this... Um, path here that you can go through if you see that it's almost like the um cornucopia or the temple path card and energy oracle where you're sort of on a winding path and you reach this temple 
And I feel like um, there is a spiritual journey that you guys are on or that you're you're needing to go in here. Okay, that is definitely on the table. I do see money here, somehow also involved in this connection. But I also see um, either your person coming back with some new type of, kind of like a new, not a new person, but coming to, to the relationship with something uh, different to offer because you can't change people, you know, they, and when they say, oh, I'm a changed man, kind of, you know, but people do it for themselves. They have to be the one to do it. And also, I do want to mention here with the devil card, that is uh, one of the things, um, kind of surprised the 10 of swords didn't come up because I feel like somebody did hit some kind of a, maybe a bottom, could even be with a substance that won't be for everyone. But I do feel like that's sort of going on here for somebody. But um, I do feel like your your person, um, for some of you, is wanting to kind of come back with a new sort of, uh, yeah, this I'm a changed person thing or I'm going to offer something different. But it's not really strong. That's the other thing. It, it's looking more like you're just kind of doing your thing and you're, you know, and you guys are in um, no contact here and separated. Okay, what did I just say? Oh, that's crazy. I said, where's that 10 of swords? I'm surprised it didn't come. Well, there it is. That's what we were just talking about. Yeah, somebody had a bottom, you guys. And there is, a, you know, a 10. So that is the end of this and kind of completing it and renewing. Now, it could be addictions, but it could also just be, simply be you. Oh, wow, the light just changed, didn't it? This could also be you, Sag, um, because I was waiting for this to come that you, you've kind of hit a bottom, like, and you're done now. And you, or that's something you need to think about here. And it could be with, um, a, you know, kind of being obsessed with your person or them with you. It could be a substance, but it could also simply be that this is the ending here coming up for you and, and just saying, yeah, you know, we, we can, uh, we acknowledge that spirit acknowledging, oh, look, I didn't even show you what I was holding here. <laughs> you probably already saw that. Okay, look, this is the Knight of Cups here. Guys, it's almost uh, too much to take. There's just so much energy. Libra Scorpio energy here, guys. This is literally like somebody coming in. You know, prince, princess, princess charming, however you want to look at that. Yeah, okay. Very interesting. Now, your person is either coming back here. Like I said, a changed person with an offering. Look, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. I do feel like, you know, and we even have the Magician here under the Devil card for those of you that are in with Capricorns. That won't be for everyone. But there it is. Interesting. I was holding it and not even looking at it. And the whole point was to figure out where is your person here. Um, but this Ten of Swords, I want to say to you... Um, you know this. If this is, if you're still feeling in this energy, Saj, just you can get up. You can. I know. It's like, how am I supposed to get up with them? They're not totally driven in the ground, okay? And you can't. It can't get any worse. That's the good thing. This is the end of that cycle. And if you're in it, you're at the end. You're coming to the end. You're here. So get these swords out of you. Roll over, maybe. You know. And the other thing is, I do feel like there's people in your life that are there to help you or people that you can call upon. So that's the message that you need to hear. Okay. Um, interesting that these came as we talked about it, but I really do feel then this is conflict, you know, con um, some conflicting energy in the partnership or just in general, I feel like you really are just some of you are just done and some of you have just really been tortured you're just in a lot of pain here okay and if you're still in this energy take these out and we talked about it I really feel like a lot of you need to go in it within and think about what it is you want because look you know and putting yourself in the position if you're wanting new love you have transformation here rebirth new beginnings opportunities you got a lot of stuff here the sun card so, you know, I, I feel like for some of you, you might not go back with this person. Others may, but this is something you got to do some thinking here. And look, there is also love here on the table, um, potential new love coming. The word potential, opportunity, that's real here. Um, all right, so this was also flipped over. <laughs> your, your reading's intense today, Sag. I listened to the wrong people. I cared too much what they thought. 
Okay, I was expecting the Hierophant and it never came, and there we go. I feel like there might have been some family stuff involved, some religious matters also for some of you, or even just friends or family here. Okay, so this is these are messages to you direct what? Okay, I'm in this is all flip flipped around here. All right, that is the card that I'd already pulled for you. I had been dreaming about you even before I met you. There's your twin flame soulmate. Um, more of that. Now, um, yeah, I do feel like for some of you, um, yeah, that this is also part of the disconnect between you guys. That won't be for everyone. Um, and I feel the regret here. That's the thing. I feel their regret. And look, we, we didn't like, we didn't even talk about the Five of Cups or did we? We did. We talked about some um, feeling of loss here. And, and that's regret. <laughs> Interestingly enough, as I, as I was pulled down to look, this is your person does have regret here. And there's a lot of emotional energy between you guys, like a lot. It's fiery too, okay? Whether you've met or not, because I feel like for some of you, this is a long distance connection. That's not for everyone, but I can feel that here. Um, but there's a lot of emotional energy. And whether you've um, been talking with somebody online or in person you can still have this attraction passionate connection you know um, but for some of you it might have been a little obsessive on your part or your person's part not for everyone but yeah you know they're they're unhappy with this change of being separated from you there's um, regret here for sure they're missing you i also feel like you felt that's part of what's going on here is you just feel and some of you still feel this way really abandoned and really just like well the whole ghosted thing and unloved and that is just no way for anyone to um feel it's a bummer you know and you deserve more um so just know that if you're if you're coming back or you're waiting for new love or going to out and get new love, you deserve it, Sagittarius, okay? You are lovable. You deserve to be loved. You remember that. Now, this was turned over, and I, I have to look at it. It's yours from your person. From the first day I was attracted to you, now not only the attraction but the love, okay? We just talked about all the physical stuff that you guys have or just the the attraction, the fiery energy, the passion. This is a confirmation. So they, they feel the same way about you. They're very attracted to you, but they also love you. And for some of you, that was more of an initial thing. Maybe how you came together or a lot of what was happening in the relationship. These are your last three from your person here. I'm going to set this down. Um, okay. All my life, I've been dreaming of an angel like you. There we go again. You know, you were they were dreaming about you before you met. You have the rest card here. There's um, some star energy here. I do feel like um, they're also dreaming of you now and you as well. Um, and I'm going to be not surprised if telepathic messages come up here because I feel like you are sending those to each other. But yeah, you're a different kind of love for them. So there's a lot of regret here. You know, they let somebody really good go and they know that. And they also, I feel like they, they're ener this energy of you considering moving on and being, they know that. Okay. And they also know they hurt you. So let's see if there's an apology coming. The day you came into my life was the day I crowned you queen king of my heart. Okay. So there is that crown energy. Um, and really a lot like getting the, you know, the, the Prince, Prince Charming, the Knight of Cups, which you did get. If you were a movie, I'd watch you over and over again. <laughs> I love that, actually. You guys might have had some movie nights together, that sort of thing. Okay, guys, this has turned into a marathon. You know, I always say, okay, I'm going to hone it in. Um, but there's just so much that, that's coming through and... Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, um, I want to get it out to you. I, uh, yeah. Anyway, the tarot closet, love messages. These are more messages to you direct from your person. We pull until um, it, it feels like it's done. Please never give up on us. I'm hiding my true feelings. Yeah, I do feel like I said you guys are kind of butting heads right now. Can you, well, can you feel my love? Where did this land? 
I listened to the wrong people. I cared too much what they thought. So maybe they weren't even telling you in the end or even saying they didn't love you. That's a lie. <laughs> it's not true. They want you to know that, that they love you. And can you feel it? I don't know. I feel like that you're not sure. It feels more to me like it's sort of caused some insecurity and, and a lot of pain for you. Um, but that is some clarity for you or confirmation that they love you. What do you want to say to your Sagittarius? Don't give up on us. Interesting. Look, please never give up on us. Don't give up on us. So there's a double. They're, they're probably, they might even be begging you. That's interesting. So they know that you're in this. Um, you might have even kind of stated that you're moving on, you know? I feel like for some of you that you, and you really have in a lot of ways, and others might just be kind of in that butt head energy that we feel here. You are perfect. Yeah, they are really attracted to you and also admire you. That's clear here. They feel kind of stupid also. I'm not really sure why that is, but that's message for you. I care too much what people think. You guys, there it is again. Yeah, I, it could be that for some of you, they feel stupid because they were listening to the wrong people and just doing the guy's guy thing or the, the girl's gossiping thing or whatever that is, you know? Um, and when I say he, she, you know, I, there's no gender here. So, but sometimes, you know, people get in these modes with their friends, their, their brother, their sister, whatever, you know. But yeah, there's a double confirmation here. They regret that. And I feel like for some of you, they were hiding it and not telling you. And they regret it. I really want to hold you. Yeah, they're missing you. You are the love of my life. Geez, Sag. There, there, it's, yeah, you got a lot to think about here, some of you. Some of you I feel like you know, but. Okay, you guys, I am going to get some totems for you. I will pull them away from the camera. They're quite loud. I'm trying to work something out, but now this is it. <laughs> I don't look. Very interested to see. What has come down for you? All right, look. Where is that card? Can we see it here? Am I imagining that we had... Okay, wow, very interesting. We have the sun card here. Now, some of you, your person is going to be a Leo. That's just a given, okay? It's not going to be for everyone, but Leo had the Wheel of Fortune, and I was thinking we had the Wheel of Fortune here, but we don't. That was um, in Leo's reading, I believe. Or am I just losing my mind yeah <laughs> losing my mind you guys this is like getting the wheel of fortune four leaf clovers ladybug this is luck turning for me when this comes this is like what it is about here so i do feel like things have changed already a lot for some of you and some of you are in this energy now or it's coming and remember it's the choices that you make here very interesting okay we have some roman numerals here this can be about things coming to fruition, you guys, like a culmination of things. When, whoops, when Roman numerals come up. All right, when a totem lands on a card or near cards, it's usually that there's some meaning in that. From the first day I was attracted to you, no, it's not only the attraction, but love. Interesting. Okay, yeah, this can be about, I was going to say about a culmination of things, like coming together. And I do feel like that is another message from your person. It can also be about celebrations, you guys. So if there's something you're invited to, make sure you, you try to get to that. But you could also be celebrating something now. Now there's also a 12 here, which numerology is a three. So that is about expressing yourself and just kind of growing as a person. And I do feel like a lot of you are, are trying to do that. Or you're already in that energy. Um, it could also be about other people. So this is another confirmation about going to stuff. Because there, there's three again. You know, one plus two, 12, three. Then there's another three. Then there's a six. So there we go with the harmony and the healing. And for some of you, that's going to be with your person, okay? And for some of you, that's really, and for all of you, there's some that needs to be for you. That's very clear here. There's a lot of heart, uh, healing that needs to go on, you guys, in your in your heart and your maybe even your body. For some of you that were um, 
maybe partaking in, in something a little too much. All right, and then we have nine, which is also um, fulfillment and something kind of coming to fruition, which is what Roman numerals are, and also getting something. And I do feel like for you guys that, yes, okay, I see some money here for some of you and some material stuff, but what I see more is mental, just some, just some spiritual um, clarity, maybe going on a new path for yourself, because we do have the rebirth there, new beginnings, so... Take that as it resonates, you guys. I want to put this here with your sun card. There's like getting the star card. There's the star. There we go. There is the... the Hi. Okay, it ended again. Wow, this is going to be a really long reading. I don't know what picked up here. I hope it got all the numerology um, for your Roman numerals. But with the star card, or the star, it's almost like getting the star card in one way. And here in this deck, in the Raven deck, um, Robin deck in German, the Raven is kind of opened up and sort of almost singing and just has this new clarity, this new lease on life, seeing something finally for the first time or, you know, feeling like they're kind of coming out of the darkness um, in some ways. And that also applies here to the Hermit card. So I feel like if you're not doing that, this is a message from Spirit that you really need to go here because you have this double confirmation here with the rest card and now you have the star interesting look you guys <laughs> oven mitts I know you're like what the heck is that yeah it's obvious we did see some domesticity here going on you guys with the queen of pentacles for some of you that there needs to be a little more focus on your home or the people in your home family some of you could even be um, wanting children or even be pregnant or just um, thinking about that path. And look, that's not going to be for everyone. It could be your person or could not apply to you. So don't worry if that's not for you. But the other thing is it could um, could be about wanting to be home and, and all of that or needing to or focus on your family or children, elderly parents, that sort of thing. But also these are oven mitts and sort of like handling something hot. <laughs> so this is a message to you also about your person. Yeah, okay. Where is that landing? Manifesting miracles. I'm going to put this back so we can look at that actually, guys. Okay. Um very interesting. Manifesting miracles and you got the Okay. Yeah, I'm not it's not very clear to me right now, but I do feel like you guys have something really passionate or you did. It's part of your connection is what I want to say. So um, watch out for that if because we do have it here that your person was really attracted to you more so and then it kind of became love after, which can be common um, anyway in relationships. But it does look like it's a pretty intense connection physically as well or it will be or was. Look, here's like, uh, there's the four-leaf clover. It came up. So there's some more luck kind of changing. Um, things looking better for you. And it's like there, right there with the lady above. I wondered if that would happen. Now, here we have grapes. There's two two beads here. That's two people. Can be about um, kind of taking like sour grapes and making it into something like wine, really. Something almost like a starfish totem. So take that as it resonates. But for some of you, I feel like that is going to be with your person. And for others, that's for your life, okay? But here's the other thing about this. It can be about um, not gossiping, too. Like grapes, sort of, you know, the saying, through the grapevine. I heard it through the grapevine. When things uh, gossiped about or talked about through the grapevine, they get confused and lost here, you guys. So this is a message to be careful to take what you hear with at face value. By the time you might hear stuff about your person, um, it could be a little distorted and also to be careful of gossiping, okay? If you, especially if you share friends, that sort of thing. And it could even symbolize, of course, some um, alcohol here. So that won't be for everybody. Whoops. Okay, and, and here with the devil energy. So, yeah. Dragon, look, some people say, oh, but that's evil. Well, it can be on some... Um, uh, spiritually for some people, but um, really it's always coming up in readings um, for the other meaning, which um, is about strength. And so it's almost like getting the strength card in some ways. So there's a little bit for me um, to you. It's like this Leo energy coming through that could be your person or something in your chart. 
but also just simply needing to channel that. And I do feel like that is something for some of you here with the Ten of Swords, with this possible relocation, there's some money involved. For some of you, court stuff, that won't be for everyone. We do have the devil energy here, and we have a lot of confirmation that you need to take it easy on yourself and also, um, you know, give yourself a break and uh, think about what it is you want. Put your sword down. You know, we talked about that. But yeah, you guys, so this is some energy for you from spirit. And wow, I'm feeling really, um, uh, yeah, I'm feeling really like they've just squeezed me out. <laughs> your person and spirit and not in a bad way it's just um very intense uh delivering now, your last totem is a leaf and this can be changed you guys that's just a, a given you know it's almost like when you get the five um and the other thing is it could be for some of you this is going to be some some stuff happening uh, around the autumn Okay, so some changes for you or just some stuff that's coming up for you. But the main thing here is that you are, that things are changing and we see a lot of energy here with new beginnings and renewals and rebirth. So I feel like that's already happened for a lot of you. Um, and for some of you, this is uh, upcoming energy for you. I'm going to set this down here. Look, where do we want to put it? It's really hard to know where to put it. Um, I feel like I'm going to put it here with the sun card though. Okay, Sagittarius, that is your reading. If you're still with me, <laughs> or maybe you forwarded to the end, which is fine. Um, but I hope that you will find the time at some point, if you did, to watch everything. Because there is a lot of intense messages here for you from your person, but also from spirit. And also um, some confirmations for you and validation that I think some of you really need to hear. But that was intense, um, so thank you if you stuck around through all this. I know it was very long, but yeah, that is your reading for today, Sag. Thank you for being here. Please take really good care of yourselves. Love and light to you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.